I scored 99 in maths last year and that's why I am the best person to help you on your journey. So I'm not going to waste your time. Here's a no BS guide on scoring full marks in maths class 10th. Step 1. MCRT maxing. This is a must step for everyone who wants to score good in boards. Read every single line of the NCERT as it will help you understand each chapter better and will also make you write better answers. This does include the theorems. Memorize the proof of the important theorems. It might be asked. Solve each and every question given in the NCERT including solve examples as they come directly in the exam and it will as important concepts. So, this step alone will get you 90 plus marks. Now let's move on further. Step 2, notes maxing. This is a game changer step. Every question that you find hard or weren't able to do in the first attempt, write it in a copy to revise and attempt later. Similarly, create a small formula book for writing every formula and any important theory part like theorems and tricks. These copies will be the one factor that will get you good marks. So, revise these copies regularly and definitely revise multiple times before the actual exam. Now that you know of these two steps, you can guarantee that your NCERT level knowledge has been covered, as these are the basic requirement of boards. Now we move on further to the parts that actually make you a topper. Step three: pattern maxing. This will guarantee you a better grasp of the paper. Your paper will have MCQs through three and five marker questions, including case based. For MCQ, solve every MCQ of NCERT exemplar as they come directly in the exam. and they also have a clarity of all concepts as assertion and reason questions will be hard without clarity of ncert for case based questions practice the case based questions of previous years link of previous years are also being in the description which you can take from byju's website i personally think this is an optional step as case based aren't as hard as teachers tell they are add for every answer you write except mcq mention every single step and reason for that step This will make the teacher give you marks. For example, any identity you use in the question should be mentioned in the bracket. Now a tip. Ooh. This is one tip that you'll never hear in anyone else's videos. So to actually get full marks, you need to infiltrate the teacher's mind and find out what they actually want in your answers. Teachers are given a fixed answer key by CBSC and the answer key contains keywords which you must include in your answer. I repeat must. For maths this includes every single step, every single identity, every single formula, additional diagrams and statements for everything in long questions and <laughs> the additional calculation that we tend to do in the rough all the calculation should be shown side mein teachers also cut marks for not showing the calculation so keep this in mind i'll give you this if you actually think from the teacher's perspective and from the answer key perspective you find it way easier to not lose marks in silly mistakes step 4 practice maxing so this is the last step to score 100 in maths Practice NCERT exemplar for each chapter and write tough questions in that same notebook of tough problems. Questions come directly from the exemplar as it is provided by CBSC itself for practice. Link of exemplar is also in the description. You can also take it from Byju's website. This is one step that I didn't do, and I believe I could have gotten that one mark that I missed if I did so. And if there are any chapters you find particularly hard, practice them from Adi Sharma or any other reference book as well. No need to complete the whole book; just hard topics. This will get your confidence in the hard topics and increase problem solving ability. People often get confused on which section to do first in the paper, but the fact is, if you follow all the things told in the video, you wouldn't need to start with different sections as you will have plenty of time left. So that makes way for part tip number two. Ha! <laughs> Before the video is over, for the revision strategy, what I did was solve each question and revise it once. Then once the section is completed, I go through the section to see if I missed any questions or not. Just flip through the pages, and then revise everything after completing the paper. This made me super sure that I didn't do a lot of silly mistakes. But I think should be done. <laughs> if you do plenty of practice, you'll have plenty of time to revise as well. So keep revising as that's going to eliminate the silly mistakes. It is my guarantee that if you do all this, you'll get 95 plus in boards easily. My name is Param, and if you want to know more about how I scored on the subjects, for example, hundred in science, ninety in SST, then check out my other videos and consider subscribing. I will help you support.